guys and welcome to episode number 49 of the Happy Hitty Podcast. My name is Julia and I'm coming to you from Germany. Today is the 31st of July 2016. Thank you so much for stopping by today to listen to me ramble about knitting and yarn. Um, if you're watching for the first time, I really hope that you like it. Thank you so much for giving me a try. And if you're coming back every week, thank you so much for that. Before I get started, I wanted to talk about the sound quality because you might have realized that last week's quality was not very good or at least the sound was very quiet whereas I haven't really had issues with that before and probably today will be the same and I'm really really sorry about that but it seems that a system update of my phone has somehow screwed up the audio settings or the or the the volume of sound that I can record when I'm filming a video, which is really, really annoying. And I'm really sorry about that, but I haven't found a solution for that yet. And yes, I already enhance the sound every time I record. In fact, I enhance it twice while editing. So I'm really sorry about that. I've, I'm trying to get it fixed. I'm looking into getting a microphone, but I don't want to make any huge investments at the moment. and. Um, Asus is not being a huge help on this either. So I will definitely try to get it fixed. If it really bothers you, then maybe you might want to skip a few episodes because I will get it fixed eventually, but there's just nothing I can do right now. I'm really, really sorry about that. So um, anyways, moving on to what I'll be talking about today. First of all, I'll talk about the knit alongs and then I have that finished object. I have works in progress. I have a tiny bit of sewing, acquisitions, and the life in general. So as usual, just pick whatever segments interest you and that'll be good. So let's get started with the knit-alongs. We have two knit-alongs running at the moment, the first of which is the Squishy Cow, which runs until the 31st of August. So if you're interested in joining, you still have plenty of time to knit a shawl. And for the Squishy Cow, you have to knit either the Squishy Licious Shawl or the Crazy Days Shawl, which is both of, the, uh, both of which are patterns that I designed and published this year. So I'm wearing my second version of the Squishy Licious Shawl right now. This is the larger version, even though the pattern is very customizable. And as you can see, it has a very squishy textured stitch and then a chevron border, which I've done in a contrast color. So that's the Squishy Licious. And we have a few prizes. We have a beautiful bag and DPN cozy from Katrina. Thank you very much. Um, and that will be for the finished objects thread. And we also have two shadow prizes, which are geeky bookmarks from Grace of a Fandom Doodler on Etsy. And two winners will be able to just choose whatever bookmark they like best in her store and she will send those right out to you. So again, thank you Grace for donating those prizes as well. And I really hope that some more people would like to join in. And now I have quite a few here. The second knit along that is running or will be running starting from tomorrow is the Treat Yourself Cow. So that starts tomorrow, which is the 1st of August and runs until September 30th. And for this knit along, all you have to do is treat yourself. So it is designed for, you know, that sort of special yarn that you might have in your stash, but that seems too special or too nice or too expensive or too fancy to use. Because I find that I stash away really nice yarns, either because they're fancy or because I've gotten them from other people and then they feel like I yeah, they just become very, very special. And then what happens is I don't use them, which is really, really sad. So treat yourself with nice yarn, whatever that means to you, and knit a project, and then you can take part in the Treat Yourself Cow. The hashtag on Instagram is HK Treat Yourself Cow, just because there actually has been a Treat Yourself Cow in May from a different podcaster. So that's why I changed the Instagram hashtag slightly. Um, so for that, we I showed you some prizes last week. We have the skein of Shebot Garn, well, uh, Yarn, which is a German indie dye. And that was a um, skein of Blue Sock Yarn in the Waterfall colorway. 
We also have two baby patterns for um, prizes from Jackie, who um, is Jackie Harrison on Ravelry, or this is her designer name. And we have a new prize, and this new prize is from Katharina, who has the Etsy store Nali Bits. So let me show this to you somehow. Oops, I'm showing the wrong card here. There we go. So this is her card. If you're interested, definitely check out her store. Um, like I said, she's also a German indie dyer. I hope I said that. And thank you so much, Katharina, for donating this prize. And this is the skein of yarn that one of you guys will be able to win. This is her a skein of her soft yarn on her soft base, which is a 75% super washable, 25% nylon, 400 meters per 100 grams. And this one is called Vampire Bite, which I think is awesome. I think it's actually a little bit more pink than it shows up on the screen right now. But I'm actually recording with artificial lighting today because it's a really rainy, dark day. But anyways, this yarn is so squishy. And she sent me two things and asked me to pick which one I want to keep and which one I want to give away as a prize. And it was really hard because this yarn is really, really beautiful. And as if that wasn't enough, Katarina is also giving us a coupon code for her store. So until September 30th, which is the end of the um, Treat Yourself Cal, you can get 10% off um, anything in her store using the coupon code HAPPY10. And HAPPY is all capital letters. So H-A-P-P-Y-1-0. So please give Katarina some love because what she sent is really awesome and I will show more of what she sent later in my acquisitions part. So this will be another prize for the Treat Yourself Cow. And I'm also she sent this mini skin, which I will also include in the prize package. This is on her sparkle base and it's called a Wannabe Space. So that is all the knit alongs. And I will move on to finished objects, because I have one finished object today. And I feel like my finished objects are very predictable. So I finished my boyfriend's socks. And I feel like I've shown them to you, but no. I'm just imagining this. These are socks that I knit for my boyfriend. Um, the yarn is from another German indie dyer called Wolfenschaf. And I will show you her label later, because I did get some more of her yarn. This one was in the colorway Sonntag, which means Sunday, and it's her merino mix base, which is her sort of more luxurious merino nylon sock yarn blend. So as you can see, I did a stuff in that sock. Um, I did 68 stitches on a 2.25 millimeter or US size one needle, and you can see it's striped up really nicely. I did a two by two rib, and of course a fish lips kiss heel, because I always do the same thing. And then I did a rounded toe. So nothing super fancy, but I'm really glad I have these done. Obviously I have two of them. And you can see from the stitch marker, I didn't have very much to actually do to finish these. So these are my only finished object and he's actually really excited about me podcasting today. So then he can finally wear these. So moving on to works in progress. Actually, before I go into works in progress, I'm going to show you what I'm planning to cast on tomorrow for the Treat Yourself cowl. So I want to knit more than one project for this cowl, but the first one that I want to do is using this yarn, which is very, very special to me. This is my first and only ever Madeleine Tosh. This is Tosh Merino Light in Coquette and Birch Grey. And these are 100 grams each. And this yarn is really, really special to me because, first of all, I've never used Madeleine Tosh and generally I spend a lot of money on yarn, but I actually don't buy very expensive yarn most of the time, so this feels pretty fancy to me. And secondly, I bought this on our first full weekend in Munich with my boyfriend. So this was definitely a treat to myself and it is just very special to me. So I'm going to use these two colors together and for those of you who are warning me about bleeding, yes, I know that this might bleed. In fact, I have heat set it, I have rinsed it, I have soaked it. 
So it does not really bleed right now. And I'm hoping that it'll be fine. I thought long and hard whether I should change my plans and combine this with something else. But I really bought these to go together and I'm just going to risk it. And I chose a pattern for this. I'm going to knit the Emiliana shawl. And I can never remember the designer's name, so I will link it in the show notes. And I will cast that on tomorrow, and I'm really excited about that. So now, moving on to works in progress. Where should I start? Living in my diary of a yarn snob bag, in which I also have my uh, some dried lavender, which I collected and dried a few weeks back and just put into these pouches. In here is my featherweight. And I haven't made crazy amounts of progress. And I'm messing it all up. So, this is what I've done so far. So this is the back. And then you can see I separated all the sleeves and I have this much done on the border on the on the body. And I'm trying you can see I haven't made very much progress at all this week. I think I only touched it once. But I tried it on and it fits perfectly. And I'm still really, really enjoying it. This is of course the featherweight pattern by Hannah Fettig. And the yarn I'm using is Mirasol Sol Caligato in the colorway 13 which is a merino alpaca and silk blend. And I knit a featherweight before in a cotton and wool blend from Holst. I use Holst Garn Coast. And while I love wearing it and I love the finished garment, I'm enjoying this one so much more because the yarn is so much nicer to knit with. I really don't like knitting with um, cotton and even cotton blends. So this really feels really nice to, to knit with and I'm enjoying it a lot more than I was enjoying knitting my first featherweight. So not a crazy amount of progress or anything very interesting to tell you, but that's what I'm still working on and I should probably work on it more often. So next I have, what do I have here? Oh yeah, I have a hoe. I finished my first blueberry waffle sock from oh, the first one of this pair. I've knit this pattern before. So this is the blueberry waffle pattern, which is free on Ravelry. And you can see it's a sort of rib pattern, but it's really, really nice. I really like knitting this pattern. In fact, when I first knit it, I knit it on DPNs and I didn't really enjoy it that much. And now I'm knitting it on Magic Loop and I feel like it feels a lot different and a lot nicer. And just to show you, this is what the yarn looks like in the stockinette on the bottom of the foot, which is really, really pretty. You can maybe see that it's quite dark up here and then it becomes gradually lighter as well, which I think is a really cool effect. So anyways, the first one is done. Um, I did 20 rows of 2x2 two two ribbing. And then I threw in a fishhead kiss heel and a rounded tail. So again, nothing very fancy at all. But considering, you can see the stitch marker here, this is where I was last week, so I did all of this in this week because I just had so much fun knitting on this sock. And I have started the second one, but I've only done the cuff and I think two rounds of the blueberry waffle pattern, so not very much to show you there. I'm knitting these on 2.25 millimeter US size 1 needles, and these are the higher, higher sharps. And the yarn is from Shebot Dane. And unfortunately, I don't know where the label is. But this is what the yarn looks like. It's in their soft sock base. And the colorway is called Wild Thing, which I think is very fitting. And this, it is a pretty crazy sort of colorway. And I really, really like it. And I have this in my stash for quite a while. And I actually had two more skeins of um, her yarn in my stash. So I'm really glad I'm finally knitting with it because the base is really nice. I really enjoy it. And yeah, this is probably my favorite project at the moment. So that's my socks. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place today. I'm sorry about that. Next, 
I in this bag, which is from lovely Kelly, who sent this to me in a swap. I have my succulent shawl by Maria Monska. Uh, as you can see, my ball of yarn is slowly getting smaller, which is good. And this is a 50% merino, 50% silk blend. And for this one, I actually do have the label, but I just wanted to focus. It's a really, really nice sort of shade of blue and the yarn is very nice. This is a lace white yarn from Juniper Moon Farm in the Findlay base in the colorway Deep Blue. And this has 730 meters per 100 grams. So out of this, I'm knitting my succulent shawl by Maria Monska of the Stitched in Sweden podcast. And this shawl is becoming quite large. In fact, I don't know how to show it to you guys. So, you can see it is quite large. In fact, it's too large for my needles. But if I show you half of it, you might actually... So this is not even half of the shawl yet. And it has this beautiful lace pattern and then stockinette pattern in between. And I say it every week, I love this pattern to death. I'm knitting this for the third time now because I'm just really enjoying it. And even the third time around, I'm still really enjoying it. Um, the stitch marker is where I was last week. So I've made some progress considering there's about a million stitches on here right now. I'm really happy with it. I have one more stockinette and one more lace repeat to go. And then I will move on to the next chart. I'm knitting this on 3.5 millimeter needles, which is less size 4. And these are my Knit Pro interchangeables, Knit Pro Novas. So I'm really enjoying knitting away on these, but the rows are crazy long now, which is always a, pr a problem with this pattern or with any sort of huge lace shawls that the rows become very long and I actually hate stopping in the middle of a row. so then half the time I'm like, I need to finish this row, I just need to finish it. Anyways, sorry for the slightly strange behavior today. And now I'm getting my yarn stuck in my zipper. Isn't that great? So, actually today I was going to show you also my blankets, but <laughs> due to very bad circumstances I can't show them to you because Right now, they're actually in my freezer. Yes. This morning, I was playing with my blankets. I had both of them hanging over a chair, which I like to do because then I can look on them, look at them while I'm working on them, and they're actually both squared off at the moment. And I was kind of playing with them and shaking one, and then a moth fell out. And those of you who've been watching for a while you know that we had problems with moths in our old apartment. So I am very, very paranoid, and this is actually the first time that I found a moth in my anything wool-related or yarn-related. And I was really freaked out about that, because we haven't had any moths since we moved here, and yeah, it's just one, so it's probably not a big deal, but I am really freaked out. So both of my blankets are currently in plastic bags being frozen in my freezer because apparently that helps and I just don't want to risk my blankets having anything with moss because even when we had like more moss a few months back we never actually found holes in anything we never we never found any damage caused by the moss but still I'm very paranoid which is why my stash is actually covered uh, is actually all in Ziploc bags because I'm just that paranoid and I was starting to, you know, relax about it because we haven't had any problems in a while. So finding moss today was really, really sad. I think they're actually just coming in through the window because we have the windows open pretty much all the time. And yeah, back then we're not very good with, like, for example, our bedroom window, which is where we mostly find moss. We just leave that open even when we have the lights on at night. And I found moss in the curtains, which makes me believe that probably really they're just getting in when they're being attracted to the light. So we really need to be better about that. And I'm hoping we won't have another moth infestation because that was really terrible a few months back. And I really don't wish to repeat that. But yeah, my blankets are being frozen. 
I actually did almost two squares of my pinwheel blank here this week, but I'll just show that to you next week. So, um, that's my finished oil and my works in progress. I have a tiny bit of sewing and I made just a tiny little pouch because I wanted something to put in my mini skeins for my pinwheel um, squares. Because for the pinwheel scrap blanket, which is by Mina Philip, you need eight minis to do one block. So I like to have, you know, a few minis in a bag so I can just use those in the block and they kind of go together. So I sewed this little pouch which has a sort of little bird print on the air, which I think is really cute. And I attached a little stitch marker from a lovely friend as a zipper pull. So in here I just throw a couple of minis and then I can work on the blanket which I'm without having to go through all of my mini skein stash to find a matching mini or something. So yeah, that's it for my works in progress and we're only at 21 minutes so I think this is going to be a pretty short episode. Um, next, I have a lot of acquisitions, I'm actually not going to show all of them to you today because I'm slightly ashamed and I'm officially instating a sock yarn stop because I keep buying sock yarn. I mean. I feel like I don't need to go on a complete yarn diet, but I just can't resist colorful sock yarn. But I have so much sock yarn, in fact, and I keep buying sort of sock yarn that you can only use for socks because it's crazy and colorful and there's only that much you need. Well, at least that's how I feel. So I'm officially going to stop buying sock yarn. If it is sock or fingering weight yarn that I might use for a shawl as well, because it is not as crazy, I might make an exception that sort of classical yarn that can only be for socks I'm going to stop buying for now because I just I've bought so much so I'm going to show some of it today and some of it I'll probably show you next week so I've already shown you this and yeah you can see I put things in plastic bags this morning because I was just too scared about the moths so the first thing is a amazing skein of yarn, which again, I got as a present because I don't even know how it started. My boyfriend and I both kind of started surprising each other with sock yarn. Of course, I would buy it for him and then actually knit it before I gave it to him because he loves handmade socks. So the sock yarn that I'm going to show you next week is actually surprise yarn for him. And then he likes to surprise me with sock yarn as well which is really cute and I love it and anyways I get this amazing skein I actually did tell him I really like this one at some point I love this yarn this is Ponderosa Wolle which is another German indie dye and you know how much I love German indie dyes and this yarn dye I first met at a sort of marketplace for well, mostly actually patchwork, but they also had some yarn in September last year, maybe. And I bought a skein of yarn from them, which was amazing. And so I've been kind of wanting to get another skein of the yarn for a long time, and I finally did. So this is the Luxury Soft Base, which is what I used before, and it is the most amazing soft base in the world, I would say. It's 80% merino, 20% polyamide, 400 meters per 100 grams. And this is colorway Lustige Witwe. So you can see it has blacks at the top and then the sort of crazy rainbow at the bottom, which I think is going to make amazing socks. I've seen those knit up and they look really, really great. So I'm super excited about this. This is a strong contender for the Treat Yourself Cow, even though I'm kind of trying to knit more from Deep Stash and put this in Stash for now. But anyways, I'm really excited about this. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I feel like I got fat fiber in my face. And then I got an order, which was quite a large order, that I actually placed quite a while ago. But just, that just took a while to get to me. And that is from Wolkenschaf. 
So Black and Chaff is the yarn brand that I showed you before, which I used to knit my boyfriend's socks. So, hang on. I have her card here, so this is where you can find her. She has her own online store, blackandshaff.de. And already when I was knitting with my boyfriend's orange yarn, I just love the base, so I really wanted to get some for myself. So I got two strands of that sock yarn. So again, the Merino Mix base. And this is Callaway Vastel, which is a very German name, I would say. So it's again dark gray and then white, and I think it's going to knit up really nicely. And I have I had this image of some more monochrome blueberry waffle or maybe Hermione's everyday socks, so I think this will be perfect. And I'm really excited. And then this one I got just because I wanted to save on shipping and by getting another skein of sock yarn, I would get shipping for free. And my sisters actually convinced me to buy this because they were there when I picked the colors. So pink and green is pretty funky. I probably would not have picked it, but it's really pretty. And I think, again, these are going to make really nice, crazy socks. And this is Colorway Happy. And again, it's the Merino Mix base. And then I got two skeins, which are not sock yarn. I got specifically more, uh, I'm trying to buy more yarn for shawls, especially for two color shawls, because I'm really bad at matching skeins for two color shawls. So this is what I got. This is her Four Ply Merino base. I guess it's just called Four Ply Merino. So it is 100% Merino, 400 meters per 100 grams. And this one is Colorway Lena. And this one is Colorway Stein, which means stone. So these two will be a beautiful two color shawl. They could be an amulet shawl, which is the second pattern by Helen Stewart of the Curious Handmade podcast. Uh, but I might also use them for something else. But I really like buying matching skeins of yarn because when I match skeins from different yarn dyes in my stash, I am very picky, like when they're differently plied or one of them is merino and one of them is BFL, I, I don't know, I just don't like it very much. So I like to buy skeins that match and that's something I want to do more in the future to kind of buy more with possible yarn combinations in mind. And if I choose to, you know, use them separately, that's totally fine. But that way I at least have something in my stash that I could use for a two colored shawl if I wanted one. So yeah, I got these two as well. And that's all the yarn that I'm going to show you for this week. And I'm just drinking some Darjeeling tea today. And then I have one more thing to show you, which is amazing. So Katarina, when she asked me about donating a prize and asked me what I like, I told her that I like two things in her store. And she sent me both and said, pick one, which is amazing. So first of all, she sent me this beautiful handmade card and I really like this sort of thing. And they were handmade by her mum, I think. Then she sent me two teas, a sweet chai and a melon tea, which sounds very interesting. I might actually do the melon as an iced tea or something. And then this is the first thing that I noticed in her Etsy sto uh, store. This beautiful project bag. This was the first thing I noticed before I even noticed um, this sock yarn. So she sent me both and I had a long, hard time deciding, but I in the end decided that I really need to keep this one because as you might know, I buy a lot of yarn, but I don't really buy any project bags. And yeah, this is just amazing. So you can see it has this really, really cute print on it and a handle. It is really well made. It is interfaced, but still kind of soft, which I like. And then it just has a white lining, which I really like. I like it when the bag is crazy on the outside, but it's slightly less crazy on the inside. And this is quite a large bag, so this will definitely, I think I might put my featherweight in there. Actually, no. I'm going to put my Treat Yourself Cow project in here right now, because that's just perfect. That just works so well. So, 
we can see two strands of yarn and they fit perfectly. So thank you so much Katarina again, this is really lovely and I'm so excited about this. I hope you guys are excited about this kind of yarn because I really like both, I really had a hard time choosing. And yeah, that's it for my acquisitions. So my computer is going to sleep again. Like I said, I will show you the rest next week, so I will move on to life in general. But before I do that, places where you can find me. You can find me on Instagram as The Happy Knitting Podcast. You can find me on Ravelry as Bipfi, which is W-U-E-P-F-I. And we have a podcast group on Ravelry called The Happy Knitting Podcast Group. And that's where you can find all the knit-alongs as well as introduction threads, ask away threads if you want to ask me anything. Um, we have a shameless self-promotion thread. So, so like I said, if you're only here for the knitting, then thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. And if you want to hear me ramble about life in general, I will do that now. So last week um, I was working a lot on my thesis, which is going very well. Um, I completely hate it by now, to be honest. I am very sick of it and I'm finding it very hard to stay motivated. But I got a good chunk of work done. In fact, I am seeing the end coming nearer, which is good. So I think I still have maybe 15 or possibly 20 pages to go, but that'll be it. And so yeah, it's going really, really well. I'm making progress and I'm really, really glad I actually made some progress last night because I'm that sad. On a Saturday night, I went into my office and just sat down and worked for two and a half hours and I feel really, really great about that because next week, in fact, tomorrow, my sisters are coming to visit for three days. So I really wanted to just get ahead. So when they're there, I actually have lots of time to do fun things with them and not have to work on my stupid thesis. So yeah, that's the thesis front. What else? Um, la um, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, my boyfriend and I took a trip to Ikea, which was really fun because last time we went, we were there to buy furniture and I was also not feeling very well. So we really only bought the necessary things and I didn't even feel like, you know, looking at nice things at all. And so we went back and just got a, a few little things. We got a pantry, which my boyfriend somehow really, really wanted. And that was the reason why he wanted to go to Ikea. I got a few baskets, which I think are always so handy for storing project bags or anything, you know, that way things have their place. And when you put them in a basket, they always kind of look nice and it's easier to clean up. And yeah, we just got a few little things which were quite fun. And then on Saturday, which is yesterday, we went into the city and we found this amazing little tea store. And we had coffee and tea and cake and the cake pieces were huge, which was amazing. And then we went to a museum called Brandhorst Museum, which is a very modern kind of museum. and. I usually do like modern art, but I really didn't like it very much at all. Neither did my boyfriend, he generally doesn't like modern art very much. But for me it was more that, I, I guess the kind of art that they have. It was not really something that, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it at all and I was actually getting quite frustrated about it. But still it was really nice to see something new and experience something and yeah. Um, so I'm probably going to look at more museums when my sisters are here because um, the middle one is very interested in arts. So yeah, lots of arts coming my way this week as well, which will be exciting. Um, besides that, nothing super exciting is happening. We've had really, really hot summery days, but today, which is actually when we wanted to go running, it's been raining all day long. So I'm hoping it'll get better because I really just want to go outside and do some things outside. I'm still slightly traumatized by the moth thing, but well, hopefully it'll go away and it'll be fine. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we actually started watching Stranger Things on um, Netflix because everyone kept recommending it. And yeah, 
I'm really enjoying it. My boyfriend is absolutely hooked on it. To the point where he's begging me to please watch one more episode because he just can't stop. I think it's really fun. Even though I'm probably not as addicted as he is. But yeah, thank you for everyone who recommended that. So, um, I'm recording today because, like I said, my sisters are coming tomorrow. But probably next week I will record on the Monday again. Not 100% sure. I'm also going to try to either find a way to manage the sound quality or get a microphone. Um, and that's about it. So if you want to get in touch, you know I love hearing from you whenever, through whatever social media you like. If you want to drop by the Ravelry group and say hi, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me and I hope that you'll join us in the Treat Yourself Cow. And I will see you next week.